I wonder why the mainstream media wants to ignore this case, but they cover a similar one 24 7, 365. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about a contested election in Hines, Mississippi among Democrats. So, a Democrat allegedly lost the election out there, and he's saying that another Democrat rigged it against him. Now, as far as I know, Everybody involved is black and Democrat. So the media can't talk about, oh, this is a right wing conspiracy theory. They can't say that it's a racially motivated thing. They can't say any of the normal things. So I think they've chosen to ignore it. Now, we all know about what's happening right now in Fulton County, Georgia, with Donald Trump and in other parts of the country as well. But specifically Fulton County, they said that the Trump team 19 people, including Trump, tried to defraud the election. They tried to overturn the election because they challenged it improperly. So I guess you can challenge an election if you are a certain person and in a certain political party. Stacey Abrams challenged it, said she didn't lose. Hillary Clinton challenged it, said she didn't lose. These things happen all the time. But if you're Donald Trump, you're on the right well, not so fast. Let's let's not do that. Now, before I go any further, let's go ahead and roll the clip. If you want to see the clip in full without my commentary, link, as always, will be in the description box. If you're on IG, visit a link in the bio. Go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Hines County District 2 Supervisor David Archie wants to take matters to court after his loss at Tuesday's primary election. 12 News' Tia McKenzie has more about Archie's accusations. District 2 Supervisor David Archie is claiming election fraud and corruption after being defeated by Anthony Smith during Tuesday's election. Archie says the election outcome was a high-tech election heist after he received 37% of the votes compared to opponent Smith, who received 63% of the votes. Smith says he has faith in the system and believes there is no election fraud. However, Archie says he wants a thorough investigation. People in Hines County District 2 was absolutely shocked on the other night to how in the world did this happen? Well, it happened because you can't beat a cheat nor steal. Okay, so I'm hearing some of the same words, cheat and steal and all this and that. Okay, I lost the election. I'm going to say that it was stolen and I was cheated. Now, where is the media? Surely the media will come out and at least try to compare this to what's happening right now with Trump, but they're totally ignoring it. Is it because there's only Democrats involved? Is it because you got black folks involved and there's no white man to blame? I'm just trying to figure out why. I'm not saying any of those reasons are the reason. Maybe it's not that serious. I don't really know, but I'm just asking questions. If y'all know the answer to my somewhat rhetorical questions, y'all give me some answers in the comments. And that was was in place. We did a good job. Now, if he don't trust the system, I trust the system. Nobody else complained about the system. And so like this guy right here won. So this is the guy that defeated the other guy we just saw. Two black males, and I believe they're both Democrats. And so this is where we're at right now. You know, he, he needs to leave with dignity. I would have left with dignity. So where do we go from here? Smith says he will begin his first order of business starting next week. Archie says he will ask agencies, including the DOJ and the FBI, to intervene. In downtown Jackson, Tia McKenzie, 12 News. Supervisor Archie blames former uh, Hines County Election Commissioner Tony Johnson for his loss. Johnson's lawyer, Lisa Raw, showed up during Archie's press conference and refuted the claim. She says there was no voting machine manipulation and that Johnson is innocent. Okay, so now you got two black males. One won, the other one lost. One saying the other one um, had cheating that helped him win. And then you have the black male blaming a black female and then a black female lawyer comes in to defend the other black female. So you can't, the race card, we're going to throw that away, throw it over there. It's not going to be in play. The Republican card, throw that away. I think these are all Democrats as far as I know. And if I'm wrong, y'all please correct me, but I think that's what I read. So 
what are we going to do other than just say, hey, maybe there's a, a case or maybe it's not and just talk about it that way rather than it being political beyond what's being presented. Let's check it out. There's no voting machine manipulation and that Johnson is innocent. You asked Supervisor Archie for specifics and he's saying because the numbers are so different that that must mean that there must be some fraud. On the other side of that coin, it could mean, without looking at the ballot, that the voters went into the polls, and this time they did not choose Supervisor Archie as they did in the past. Now, we will have more on Supervisor Archie's accusations coming up at 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock. So there you have it. Now, this, this is a very, very, very interesting thing. And here is a, a full, I guess you would say, press conference with my man here. Now, he's a Democrat. This guy, I'm reading it right here. He's a Democrat. I'm going to just read some of this, zoom in a little bit for you guys. So this person posted this, says, Breaking, a Democrat county supervisor in Hines, Mississippi, is challenging this party's primary election results after discovering massive election fraud. So it's a primary all right, so you guys know what the primary is just your party. Just like we got the primary coming up for the president. And it's going to be a GOP primary, and it should be a Democrat primary, but it won't be because you're going to have Joe Biden again. But anyway, all the challengers on one particular side, on one party, are going to vie for the nomination. And whoever wins the primary becomes the nominee, and then they run against the other party or parties. And I'm not quite sure if this guy in Mississippi will run unopposed. If there's a Republican running against him, I don't know what's going on. But at the end of the day, we're talking about a Democratic Party primary in this particular area, right? Small election, he's saying there was fraud going on. But anyway, quote, we have videotapes of someone going into boxes bringing in thumb drives, bringing in ballots to be inserted into the machines. The person he's talking about is a Hines County Democrat Party chair. If you watch presentation, it sounds exactly like what happened in, allegedly what happened in the 2020 election and 2022 election in Arizona. If Democrats are rigging their own primaries, imagine what they're doing in general elections. And it says, Kari Lake, Donald Trump are not alone. Democrats are rigging elections everywhere, allegedly. You know, if I say something like that on YouTube, oh, you said that they rigged it. I'm just saying, I'm just reading this. I'm not saying nothing. I'm not saying that it did or did not happen. I'm just saying that this right here has been totally ignored when another case involving someone else has not been ignored. I will link to this press conference in the box if you guys want to uh, see and hear that for yourself. It's about 23 minutes long, so it's pretty long for this video right here. But as I close, I want to say this. Shout out to everybody who is able to challenge their election results without getting locked up in the penitentiary or being threatened with a prison sentence. I mean, come on. Like, we've seen elections get challenged. We've seen that. Going all the way back. Remember the Al Gore? Uh, what was that? What was it? Like 2004 and Florida. I think Jeb was the governor. And it was about George uh, W., young George. And there was ballots on the on the highway. Remember that whole thing? I remember all that. And it, it was always acceptable to question, to ask, to investigate, to use the law in your best interest. Now, I don't believe in just saying everything's rigged because it, it erodes voter confidence, which would... Um, impact voter turnout. That's kind of what happened in 2020 during the, um, after the general, there was a, a runoff in Georgia for the Senate. That's how John Nossoff and Raphael Warnock got in because people said the election was rigged and no point in voting. So there was like a 25, 28% drop in Republican voting from the, uh, the national to the runoff. And that lack of turnout caused Democrats to win. So I don't believe in saying everything's rigged, but at a certain point, you should be able to challenge the results of an election without getting sent behind the bars in the penitentiary making bit rocks and the little rocks. That's just my humble opinion, but I think I'll leave that right there for now.
And what say you? How do you feel about this election in Mississippi that's being totally ignored by the mainstream media? It's being challenged in the same way that Trump and Kerry Lake and many others on the right have challenged their elections. Now, people on the right are being threatened with criminal action, court action for their challenges, but not so much on the left. And again, you have Stacey Abrams, Hillary Clinton, and others who've done the same thing, who've raised the same questions. But whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. It's obvious to see that there is clear bias from the mainstream media, from politicians, for certain people of a certain party and against others from a different party. Simple as that. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.